guys were out here trying to build our empire. And guess what? If you don't got enough energy, that's going to be very hard to do. So how do we fix that? Do you need a diet pill? Do you need a supplement to boost your energy? Do you have low testosterone? Most likely not. Okay? If your sleep's good, then what else could be the problem? The problem could be that you're not eating enough food. If you go out one day, you go to Chipotle, and you order your little bowl, and the girl gives you, she's feeling generous, so she gives you a little bit more chicken than usual, and you get some chips, you're feeling kind of good, right? And then the next day, you decide to intermittent fast, and you have yourself a protein bar, and you come home to your mom's cooking. You're just getting these random amounts of calories all throughout the week. That's exactly how you're going to feel with your energy and your creativity and the explosive feeling that you feel in the gym, your sex drive, and even your willpower, your willpower to stick to all your good habits, de determined if you're eating enough food, all right? Bloody simple. Worth the extra amount of effort to figure out how many calories you need for your body and then hit those for a week straight. And maybe this means you're gonna to have to do some meal prep. But guess what, man? Highly worth it. And it also means you're probably gonna to have to cook more often than going out to fast food. Fast food is just giving you all these random amounts of calories. So you never know how you best function. Um, I know, guys, that it can be very difficult when you go and you move away from your home or you go to school, all right? Because first, you don't have a lot of money and there's random school lunches and you're surrounded by all this partying and stuff. But look, now's the time to buckle down. Now's the time you need the most energy. Um, you may not always be able to eat organic. That's okay. Focus on simple whole foods that are gonna do the job and get you your macros, your carbs, your proteins, and your fats. And you wanna eat your vegetables, all right? I'm guilty of this, I don't always, but you know what? I try to get some greens, some spinach, some kale some fruits here and there, um, and, and figure out what works for you. For me, rice, white rice digests better than any other carb that I ever try eating. My body doesn't respond well to oatmeal. I feel bloated. Uh, even brown rice kind of bloats me a little bit more. Tortillas, wraps, not good. Just, I feel like my body doesn't digest it well. White rice though, I feel pretty good. All right. So with that being said, get your calories in. The next important thing is you got to be a mover. As a human, you're a mover. You got to do that, man, or you're going to feel trapped. If you're lifting weights, you're probably making this even worse. You're getting into this hard, rigid body, and that spiritedness, that childlike energy inside of you is trapped. It's hard to be happy when you have a tight back with a lot of little tinges here and there, and you can't breathe correctly. So the worst times of my life was when I was sitting down for eight hours a night, not doing anything, and I was underfed. And so by walking, I, I corrected that. I walk a minimum, most days of the week, 10,000 steps, sometimes 15,000 steps on top of going to the gym for one hour a day and doing cardio a couple times a week. That seems to help me with some stretching here and there. It's not that difficult. These are simple things that you can do. Right now, you can fix up your life, all right, and feel better. Um, one thing that I've been experimenting with, sleeping on the ground. I know it sounds weird, probably inconvenient for some of you guys with lovers, but that's okay. Because I think that the ground is sort of like this natural foam roller. So if you got a bad hip, and you're going to sleep in your Tempur-Pedic, your Tempur-Pedic is sort of just holding that bad hip in place. Now, when you go on the hard ground, it's sort of, it is pushing everything back into place. You can, if you got, you know, if you're laying down on your stomach, your quads are on the ground, you'll feel like this natural, uh, it's like a foam roller, dude. You feel pretty good when you get up. But also, you're gonna toss and turn all throughout the night, so it's just going to align everything. So give it a try, that's my personal experience. There's two things you can do. Eat enough food and get mobile, dude. Maybe your spirit is feeling trapped because you're just sitting all day and on top you're under eating, so you, now you have less energy to move. Okay, break the cycle. I'll talk to you guys soon. Peace.